Chamberlain Mill is a rare example of a water-powered circular sawmill that was later converted to gasoline power. The mill still houses many of the historic cast iron gears and flat belt pulleys that transferred the power of water, via the turbine, to the circular saw on the main level. To run the mill, workers would first fill the mill pond with water for the day and then perform various maintenance tasks, such as cleaning out the trash rack and checking the turbine for debris, ice, or anything else that might impede its operation. They also oil and lubricate all bearings and shafts and disconnect any belts to run machinery other than the main saw. After loading and securing a log on the log carriage, they slowly turn a wheel on the upper level to open the gate below. That wheel turns a shaft that is attached via a rope on the lower level to another shaft that opens the gate, allowing water to flow down through the turbine. The more the gate opens, the more water flows through the turbine and the faster it spins. By listening to the sound of the saw, the workers can tell when the saw has reached an appropriate operating speed and sign can commence. The power from the turbine is transmitted to the main shaft on the lower level via bevel gears. That shaft has flywheels that increase rotational inertia to maintain smooth rotation. A belt transmits power from the main shaft on the lower level to the saw shaft on the upper level. The log is located on the carriage, held in place by set works to commence sawing. To drive the carriage holding the log forward to be cut, the belt connects the motion of the saw shaft to another shaft with a friction wheel. When the control lever is in a neutral position, straight up and down, the friction wheel doesn't touch the pulley below it as a spring holds the housing just out of reach. When the control lever is pulled to the right, the cam on the left pulls down the housing, compressing the spring, and pivoting the shaft slightly downward until the friction wheel contacts the pulley. This spins a pinion gear that connects to a rack on the underside of the carriage, pushing it towards the saw. The amount of pressure on the lever controls the normal force on the friction wheel, which provides some control over the forward speed of the carriage. After cutting the log, the lever is released, and the spring below the housing pushes the shaft back up breaking contact with the friction wheel, ceasing forward motion. To reverse the carriage, the lever is pushed the other way, causing a pulley to tighten a normally slack belt connecting the saw shaft to the pinion shaft. This clockwise motion of the pinion shaft drives the rack in reverse, back to its starting position. Set works advance the log forward, ready to take another cut. At the end of the day's operations, the workers close the turbine gate and drain the mill pond to get ready for the next day. Running the pond dry at the end of each day is especially useful in winter to avoid ice buildup. <laughs>